Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Ape Escape 2. We're inside the Lethargy Laser on the moon base, and Pipachi just saved us. That was... that would have been a ridiculous opening to the video. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna beat the game. And not just get... Oh, or we will get killed, but Pipachi's gonna give us some cookies. Or a cookie, which means I'm still gonna die in one hit. My goodness. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But yeah, we're gonna beat the game in this video. I'm just gonna go up here, because it's safer. Wanna check out what's down here. Oh man, that was almost really bad. Ooh, cookie. Cookie. Oh my gosh, okay. This is really nerve-wracking. No! Don't you hit me with those missiles. Don't you dare. You stop it. I'm so dead. Okay, good. And then Star Trek reference. Beam me up, Scotty. Okay. And we got a cookie there. That's good. I feel like I should be going with the laser beams rather than against them right now. There we go. That's much safer. Okay, we're gonna need to get our slain back shooter out here. Lower that platform for us. That totally didn't hit the button, but whatever. I'm glad that it registered. Hey, our C car segment. We that's one of the few gadgets we haven't had to use yet. I don't think we ever have to use the banana rain. And you really never have to use the the monkey radar in the whole game. That's always like completely optional. All right. We do have to use plenty of electromagnet in this level though, but that makes sense since, you know, we just got this thing three levels ago and it's so close to the end of the game, they're gonna wanna make you use it as much as possible so you actually get a decent amount of use of it. Plus it's just really fitting for this kind of area. So getting rid of the electricity on that pole not only gives us a way forward, but also a shortcut if we fall back down. So, okay, there is something this way. That, that got us a jacket anyways. And it looked like there was almost a face on there. I'm gonna have to go back and look at that. I'm not sure if it was possible to get that jacket without falling through the hole. Is that a face? Maybe that's not a face. It kinda looked like a face before. But whatever. Let's head on out of here. So now we're on the outside again. 
but we're up pretty high and these things fall apart now. So we're gonna have to jump fast right after we land on them. It's good to have your sky flyer out for that. Just to be safe. And now we're back into the main area and we're way up top here. All right, we got one more monkey up here, which hopefully isn't going to kill us. It's, he's totally going to kill us. I can't even see him. Oh my gosh. No. Curse you, camera. Thankfully, we checkpoint right here. Now that we have full health, well, we did have full health. Let's take this monkey on now. Bobo. What's this monkey's name? Han? We can't do anything with him yet, though. That's right. When we redo this level, we're ha gonna have to come all the way back here, but... We won't actually have to do anything else on the way here. You've got to be kidding me. Just let me fall off. Just let me fall off. Hopefully that'll check that'll bring me back up to the top. Okay, good. I'm not sure if it would have checkpointed down there if I would have landed on something. I didn't want to take that chance. There we go. And we grab this pole and climb on up. Alright, this is the final moments before the final boss here. We are really at the end of this. We've got to blow up this door which leads right above the laser part of the lethargy laser, like right above the gun. But in order to get in this doorway, we're gonna have to blow it up with this. Pull like you mean it, Jimmy. It's not like the world depends on it or anything. All right, now let's get around it and push it so we can get it all the way up to the door. And get the heck out of... Yeah, I knew I was going to get hit by that. Uh, you know what? I'll keep that equipped. This should be it. The final boss. What took you so long, little Jimmy? Sorry, but we've already finished preparing the lethargy laser for firing. Don't do it! I won't, not just yet. First, I must take revenge for the Freaky Monkey Five. The symbol crashing monkey, for years mocked by humans, will now be a symbol for the ascendance of monkey kind. One that will now incite fear. So, have fun playing with your new friend, Jimmy. <laughs> All right. We have to fight the symbol crashing monkey. Truly the most epic of final bosses. Whoa, I guess I do need the super hoop out. I didn't realize that was gonna happen. Man, I wish I would have started the fight with more health. I was at least right on having the sky flyer out. 
And at one, at one point, he'll release that weak point, and you can hit it. Let's just spin around in circles here, and that didn't work as well as I'd hoped. Get out of there! Oh my gosh, we're at half a cookie. Oh man, that is tight. I really hope something drops a cookie soon. Preferably a giant cookie, but at least a cookie. Alright, come on. What are these things? Will they give me cookies? They do! They gave me two cookies! Alright, I'm in such better shape now. And we won! <laughs> Surprise, little man! Feast your eyes upon his true form, Ultra Goliath! Behold the sheer perfection, the exquisite simian symmetry. Ultra Goliath will crush you like an ant. <laughs> Watch out there or you'll become part of the floor. All you can do now is run and hide, little man. He won't move! I don't believe it! You tricked me again, haven't you, Jimmy? But I didn't do anything, Spectre! If you want to blame someone, blame yourself! Silence! I don't need his legs to beat you anyway! I'll get you for sure this time! Ah! Alright. When you fought Spectre at the end of Ape Escape 1, he was in a mech that was, I believe, called the Goliath? And this is the Ultra Goliath. So this is the sequel to that. So now we gotta dodge his hands here. We're gonna want our Sky Flyer for this move. And that gives us cookies, and now he's vulnerable. So this is where we want the Electromagnet. And we didn't do it in time. Wonderful. So just gotta look out for these missiles here. Yeah, those hands can be brutal to dodge. Thankfully, this move is very easy to dodge, and that's the move you have to dodge if you want to hurt them. So pull this thing off, and hit Spectre. Hit Spectre's little cockpit there. Nice, I was able to fight off those missiles pretty well with my stun club. Now he's gonna punch down. Ideally, you just want him to punch one thing. So you want to lure him to where there's just one thing. Oh man. Okay. That was pretty scary. But yeah, those little platforms do come back. So that's one good thing, at least. Dodge the hands a little more, try to get them to just break one little glass thing. Ouch, I didn't realize I stepped off there. Thankfully, the electrical stuff bounces you back up. You don't just die and have to start over. Huh. 
man! It is really hard to avoid that. I'm surprised I did it the first time he used it. Alright, he's got to be pretty darn close to being done. I think it should take one or two more hits. Three at the very most, but I think it's just one or two. Yeah, if you really don't do this part well, he'll end up taking out four glass panels with one punch. And he just keeps going on for longer and longer now, man. Oh, man, and then he brought his arm up higher since I was in the air. I think you might have, I think it might be best to use the super hoop for that, but I don't have that out right now, now do I? Yeah, he's hurting. And this is just a great battlefield, too. Just right here at the lethargy laser. Right on top of the gun. I don't know what that cutscene was all about. Oh, the, uh, he brought the walls closer together. That's right. I completely forgot that that was a thing in this fight. But it makes this section a lot more tricky, because you've got a lot less room to deal with. But he also doesn't punch as much. Well, that's one way to dodge it. <laughs> Not how I was planning on doing it, but it works, I guess. Is this it? Not too shabby for a mere human. Not too bad yourself for a monkey. <laughs> you are a tough little man, aren't you? I respect that. But this is the end of the line for you. The trigger for the lethargy laser is right behind me. Once I flick this switch, it'll be game over for you humans. What? Come now. Surely you can't refuse the chance to be ruled by superior beings. You got us wrong. You don't know anything about us. What? Humans never stop trying. That's what gives us a future. We'll never give in to the likes of you. Give up. You don't stand a chance. Let's go home. 
And that's Ape Escape 2! Now, we may have defeated Spectre, but we're far from done. We've still got a lot more monkeys to catch. We've got... Um, we've got a bunch of time trials to do. Uh, we've got mini games to play. We've got bonus videos to do. So we're far from done with this. But this has been a pretty good run so far. And I hope to, con to keep that going. So yeah, this isn't the last time we're going to be seeing the credits for this game, so I'm going to talk end of LP stuff, you know, on the next time we see the credits. Uh, we've got English voice acting here. We are voice actors, so compare these names to the names of the Pokemon cast. You can also sometimes see some sushi on the plates here. Yeah, like that. And you may have... You may remember something about a game hint we got from the gotcha box mentioning a sushi RC car. We haven't unlocked that yet, surprisingly. I'm not sure if there's certain requirements you need to get before you can get certain RC cars. Uh, but we only have two of the five types of RC cars, so that's a bit interesting. Like, I don't know if you have to catch a specific monkey or 100% a specific level to unlock that stuff or what, but whatever. But we haven't 100%ed a single level of this game yet because we still don't have all the gadgets. And the, the gadget we're about to get, every single level has a, at least one monkey that you can't get until you have the gadget that we don't get yet. And we will get that gadget next time we enter a level. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of cleanup to do, just going back to every level in this game. We caught most of the monkeys in most of the levels, so we're not going to have to, you know, it's not going to take as long to revisit the levels, because we'll just be able to run through most of it, or skip a lot of it. But we do have to go back to every single level. All right, I'm I'm running out of stuff to talk about during these credits. You can speed up the credits, but I think I'll save that for the second time we go through the credits. I'll let these ones play out normally. <laughs> Just wait in here. Also, what are these monkeys doing on these plates? I mean, that seems very cruel. And it looks like they're done. The credits, not the monkeys. Nice putting the disclaimer at the end of the game rather than the start. Way to go, Ubisoft and Sony and whatever. Wow, this is like the first time I'm saving on camera since the first video. Alright, here's a different title screen. You've got, we saw them running through the grass earlier. There's also them going through the snow or like the graveyard type area. 
There's also like a title screen where it's just like a flat screen with some monkeys floating there. But anyways, before we end the video off, let's go back in. Go back in, do our normal gotcha box stuff. Something terrible has happened, Jimmy. While I was fixing the transporter, Spectre managed to find a way to escape and snuck out from right under my nose. He's probably got some evil plan in mind for the monkey still out there. Oh, that Spectre! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody call my name? Spectre! Spectre. Come now. You didn't think I'd just let myself be captured, did you? Jimmy, you've embarrassed me in front of my monkey brethren. And for that, I'll make sure you pay dearly. And so, farewell. Blast! There are still some monkeys running amok out there. You need to catch every last one of them. If you don't catch them quickly, then all our efforts will be in vain. You're nearly there, Jimmy. This is the final stretch. Okay. Jimmy, I've assigned a see all scope to the L2 button. Take a good look around the levels to spot secret locations. Make good use of it. Yeah. I'm going to have to explain that see all scope when we actually go into the levels. But for now, we'll just go to the gotcha box. And we got Natalie's research memo right away. Humps on camels are actually lumps of fat. When they go on long journeys, their humps appear to shrink. Wow, okay. With injuries, being in a critical condition is generally worse than having a serious injury. Oh, that was at a stage photo. I don't know if I already got some by accident and didn't notice it, because they look similar to the secret photos. But the stage photos, uh, they show part of the stage, but they show where the monkeys that can only be found uh, with the gadget we don't have yet, that can be found with this little secret detector thing that we just got. Uh, they show where those monkeys are, I think. Oh, hey! There's that sushi RC car. Sushi, even a monkey will be fooled by its likeness. I'm not sure if that attracts monkeys or if they just don't notice it or what. I'll drive it around in a second. Oh, but now we got another RC car. The tissues. Unbeatable paper chassis. I still don't know that word. I'm not sure what that one does. I don't know what's unique about these RC cars. Fortune. Wear your galoshes right to their very end to bring good luck. Your fortune is quite good today. Quite good indeed. And there's our final RC car. Pudding. Explodes in a gooey, delicious mess. Sounds like Chapter 6 of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Natalie's research memo. According to a study, it seems that the smallest mountain in Japan is just 4.5 meters high. That counts as a mountain? Okay, whatever. A game hint. The RC car can also be used for herding monkeys towards you, as well as drawing their fire so you can approach them safely. That's actually a nice tip on the drawing their fire thing. Natalie's research memo. 
I've discovered that male seahorses give birth. I actually knew that. I'm not sure if I learned that from this game or somewhere else. Okay, before we end the video off here, we're gonna take a look at those RC cars, and we're also just gonna take a look in general at this stuff to see what all we've completed. Just see how much these puzzles are completed here. As you see, we've got a lot. Yeah, I think I just looked at the... yeah. This is our new category we just got, those stage photos, so that's not filled in very much, but that's because we we literally just got the ability to get those. Enemy photos is almost done. We only need two more of those. Yeah, and this is... Most of this is pretty close to being done, and the Monkeypedia is just all the monkeys we've got, which we'll get there. We gotta go back to all the levels to get those. But let's check out those bonus RC cars. We looked at the standard and the black RC car. I don't know what the tissue thing is all about. What does it mean by unbeatable? Does that mean that it can't be destroyed or something? I don't know. It looks ridiculous though. No, it can definitely be destroyed. So I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Sushi. Looks like this one is disguised well, I guess. They won't notice it or they'll be attracted to it or I don't even know. But it's just a sushi moving around for some reason and pudding explodes in a gooey delicious mess. It moves kind of fast, it looks like. Not as fast as the black one, but... Boom! That could hurt a monkey pretty bad. Anyways, we're, we're just gonna switch back to the normal one. Uh, so, yeah. That is about it for this video. In the next video... Uh, we will go all the way back to level 1, and we're going to start getting all the monkeys that we didn't get before. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.